Ken, the last time we spoke, it was all about the artist. This time, I would like to talk to you about Walk of Shame. Are you able to tell me a little bit about your role in this one? No. Okay, that's right. Uh, no, I will, I will. Uh, it is really a funny movie. She, I'm a cab driver, and uh, it's about, I don't know, four in the morning, and she comes running to because she's doing her walk of shame, and she comes and she needs a cab, but she doesn't have any money to pay it, and she very much upsets me, and we get into a yelling argument, and she leaves. Now, the next scene... I'm because she. It, I was so distraught over this, and I didn't get my fare. I uh, I went to my favorite massage parlor to get a happy conclusion, and that's what they called it in the movie, happy conclusion. So I went there, and uh, lo and behold, she's the masseuse. She's trying to hide, so she's the masseuse. But I don't know because my head is stuck down in the thing, and it's so funny. It's so funny. It's it's, it's like. I, I, she reminded me of uh, Lucille Ball. She was so hilarious. And when does that one come out? Uh, April the 25th. Now, you being in a position where you're getting a massage, does this mean you have your clothes off in this film as well as Borat? Yes. <laughs> you tend to be actually, doing that quite a bit. Uh, actually, Elizabeth and I planned it so that I would have my clothes off, uh, but it looks really, really, really real, but I don't know if they kept it in. Because I run after her, and I was getting a massage. So it's very normal that I had my clothes off. Right. So. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I'm sure it's a laugh. It is a laugh. It really is. She's hilarious. It's so good to work with somebody that's funnier than you are. And you got to, like, keep up with that. That can't be easy for you to find, either. You're, no, you're no, a very no. funny man. And, she, and she's great. Elizabeth was uh, great to work with. So, I, and I have another movie coming out in March that's uh, called Shark Proof, and that's with John Lovitz, okay. and uh, I produced that movie, and it's uh, uh, funny, but it's also a very touching uh, film about uh, a young woman who comes to America and wants to uh, start her own life, but she's kind of stuck with uh, this uh, uh, grouchy old guy and uh, John Lovitz that's uh, trying to put the hit on her. So you produce it as well as act in it? Yes, yes. What and we're producing, a, uh, I'm doing a lot of films like that. What makes you decide that a script is good enough that you want to put your money behind it? I laugh. <laughs> that's all, that's I all laugh. it takes. I laugh. And it's got to be a good part for me. And, but some, I've done, I've done them where they don't, I don't even, I'm not even in them. It's, it's just a matter of the movie. If it makes you laugh and it's funny or if it makes you cry, uh, I'm doing a movie uh, later this summer that when I read the script I cried and I thought okay that's it yeah, emotion you got to get emotion out of it it just can't be like a cold read that oh that's okay uh, so that's the way it was like artist it was a, a, a passion project for the director and I thought wow man okay let's see if this works and it was so different to anything else that's around right now it was fantastic it was fantastic so it's been it's good. I can't complain. Thank you. <laughs> it definitely made a name for itself, and it's one that will be talked about for years. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so hopefully far, these, that's, that's good. Hopefully these new projects will uh, con Hopefully these new projects will continue to be the same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a matter of uh, 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 having God's grace and being lucky and, and doing a lot of hard work. So, and you know she took her shoes off to do this interview. <laughs> You're not, you can't see her feet, but she's like four feet taller than me. So she actually politely took her shoes off. It's now let's see if we can convince her to take anything else off. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned uh, not being able to see my feet because my next question is one I tend to ask each of my guests. It's yeah. actually about your sock choice. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if you would show me your socks. Yeah, the, I think they're just plain blue, okay? And let me tell you, I have always had blue and black. That's it. <laughs> Okay, I am now, I, I just haven't been to the store because I actually s uh, spoke to people and I'm buying different colors. Good, because so, you're a colorful person, you yeah. need that. I, it's kind of like, you know, everybody's like, hey, how are you, whoa, what's that? And, right? But now it's in and I like it and I have a purple pair and I'm going to start with red and yellow and I'm going to wear it with like clothes like this. So Good. I don't care. 
So I next time we chat, you're going to have a bright pair of socks yeah, on. Probably. Okay. She, she wants me to get yellow. Well, yeah, so that's a good color. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get every color. Okay. I just haven't done it yet. I haven't started. Well, get on it. I'm going to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. You're very welcome. Thank you.